great to see you uh, back for another season with the Moles after your first last season. Um, what, what brought you back to us? You just, uh, or did you not even think about going anywhere else? No, I didn't even think about it. Um, didn't have to, to be honest. Um, joined the club back in October, um, which was great. And ever since, not really looked back. Um, first training session, sort of settled in with the lads and gone from strength to strength really with them. And what produced a great season. Um, no hesitation about coming back at all this season. And uh, anything that you wish the club did differently, or do you just love everything? No, everything about the club, the setup, and the people that run it, people that work within the club, the players, the whole, the whole setup is is top draw. Um, couldn't ask for any more, really. And you're playing at Flatwell Heath before you came here, weren't yep. you? Is uh, anywhere else you were playing before that? I've had a few clubs, really. <laughs> um, Wokenham, um, Homer Green, Marlow, Chalfont Wasps, Bisley. What was your favourite lot of them? Uh, I'd have to say Chalfa was um, winning the treble, um, winning three back to back B and B trophies, sort of highlight of my career really. But um, yeah, that was the same sort of setup as we had there. We've got here now, um, so that's why I think there's no hesitation about coming back this year. And so is this the highest level that you've played at? Yeah. So uh, hopefully you can emulate those uh, trophies in uh, at yeah. a higher level this season. So uh, do you do a lot to stay fit over the close season, Shani, or just No, just chill out. Just relax. chill out. Lots of drinking and. Uh, Lots of drinking and eating. So have you got a, a lot of hard slog to come when we come back for pre-season then? Yeah, I would have thought so. That's what pre is all about. It's about um, don't pick too early. Um, ready for the start of the season. And do you look forward to the, the pre-season slog? Or? Yeah, pre-season um, training in general. I uh, look forward to it's the it's the best bit about football. I think um, you go training, you can have a laugh, you can have a giggle. Come match day, it's all about business. Um, so yeah, pre-season training is um, quite an enjoyable thing for me. Really. Uh, I think as 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 now I'm a mature sort of person, player, um, 30 years of age on Monday. Um, I think um, I think I bring a bit to the squads, um, playing the game quite a few years at sort of a decent level. Um, so no, I think all round sort of as a person and a player, um, a lot to offer really. And uh, any lessons that you've learned from last season? Obviously, we fell just narrowly short. Yeah, I fell narrowly short. Um, from the offset, we didn't shout and scream about we were going to win it, um, like some of the teams did. We went about our business game by game and see what happened. Um, and I think that takes us in good stead for this season. Um, I think as a whole, as a side, it's sort of game by game. No big time Charlies, especially set from the gaffer that comes from as well. Um, so. Yeah, I think, if it, well, I know everyone's staying together, no one's leaving. Add a few bodies in the summer and um, hopefully go one step further. And uh, Gary Calloway quite uh, rightly picked up all the awards, but uh, apart from Gaz, who was your sort of unsung hero of last season? Uh, I think in general, I think you look at the whole, whole 16, 18 players that we had, I think every single one done their bit. Yeah, like I say, um, I think one to sort of the 18, 16 we had in the squad, um, sort of fab fabulous season, uh, the two lads up front. Um, the goals between them magnificent. Suarez from midfield at some points during the season come up with some spectacular goals and some some goals that changed games that at the times we, we needed. Um, goalkeeper. So pretty well. much everyone then. Yeah, I think yeah, pretty much everyone I think done a job. But um, when you need your skipper and your centre half to sort of lead by example, Gaz definitely did that um, on more than one occasion. And uh, would, did you have a favourite game last season? Any you enjoyed most? Perhaps beating Flatwell? Beating Flatwell, um, but um, on the other hand, it probably wasn't the best game. Didn't you know, finish the game, penalty, mate. Penalty in the first half, um, lucky to stay on the pitch. Uh, then sent off, uh, dubious referee's decisions, but um, there we go. Uh, but yeah, that was probably one of the highlights. Best trainer. Um, myself. Oh, James Suarez, by well, Mark. <laughs> Joker, Nebs and Scotty. Uh, I haven't really got one, to be fair. I think, um, no, it's not really a big moaner on the side. Everyone throws their two pennies worth in. Probably Cole Davis, I'd say, probably the biggest moaner. Best to play alongside. Well, for me, from changing my position last year to right back, I'd have to say probably playing in front of Luke. Most skillful, yeah, Luke or Suarez. Centre half, Gaz Calloway. 
Where's the intelligent? I don't think we've got one. Probably Jack. Shiny. Best nickname. JP Timman. Uh, you can't say Nevs, can we? Um, no, it has to be Nevs. A Bose. <laughs> Why <a> distance? <laughs> Miles. <laughs> all right, mate. Well, all the best for the new season. Look forward to seeing you in pre-season. Cheers, Colin.